This is a 1978 Zenith 13 inch portable color TV model SK1321W and it comes equipped with all of its original manuals and it also has the Space Command remote control. More accurately this is called the Space Command 600Z and it was restyled for the 1974 models and it made its last appearance for the 1978 models. So this is the last year for the mechanical remote control. But keep in mind Zenith introduced its electronic remote controls for the 1976 models. So the more economy lower end sets, if you can call it that, use the mechanical remote. You can see we got we got the antennas extended here. We can pick up just a couple low power analog stations still. See if we can focus on that. Not, not quite. You can see it was manufactured in September 1978. It's a very low hour set. Let's take a look at the inside. Here is the motor driven Verichter tuner. And each of those slide rule dial scales there are the UHF presets. To pre-tune you simply push in that white knob when it's aligned over the scale and you turn it until the UHF channel of choice is tuned in. And since this is a mechanical remote control you have to set the dial drum to either stop or skip a channel. That's done very simply by inserting a screwdriver and rotating a quarter turn like so for any given channel. So right here we're on the U1 position. Here's channel 11 it's set to stop. We'll see in a little bit how that all works. Here's some of the operating instructions. And there's the Space Command microphone. And it says Space Command right below the channel indicator. And it also has Color Sentry. Basically all that is is a photovoltaic cell. And it dims the picture in accordance with the darkness of the room. So basically the lighter the room is, the brighter the screen needs to be to compensate 
for the ambient brightness. Let's see how it works. And just so you know, even though this is a mechanical remote, it's a fully electronic system with the exception of the tuner. So the volume stepper, that's electronically controlled. And so is the volume and mute steps. Turn the light off for a little contrast. Just set the light here. Here's our volume stepper. That's the mute. Now we're at full volume. It just goes down in steps. Until it's fully muted. Some popular channels like AMC and Discovery in digital quality. Plus, never miss a thing with HD. Channel lower. Channel higher. Then you got the on off, of course, which is the teal button. TV for just fourteen ninety nine a month for six months. Don't forget to ask how you can get Xfinity on demand with the best in entertainment anytime on any device. Plus premium channels like HBO and Showtime. Get Xfinity TV for just fourteen ninety nine a month for six months with HD DVR service free for three months. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. Call one eight seven. One of the most important things to know about this set. It's a Chroma Color 2 chassis, which is the vertical so, upright modular chassis. Major Sanders, homemade, yummy, scrumptious bars, hmm? Mm -hmm. Rich chocolate chips. I just wanted you to eat more fiber. Chewy, oaty, gooeyness. And, and, and then the awards started coming in, and I became addicted to the fame. Popped with chocolatey drizzle and fraudulence. I'm in deep, babe. You certainly are. Fiber One, Fiber Beyond Recognition. Today, with the swipe of a comb, the last gray-haired man on Earth disappeared. This is how the great era met its end. Just for men... Here you can see the mechanism now as it tunes. No mess, it just comes in. And the auto-stop formula automatically shuts off at just the right color for the perfect look. It's foolproof. New Just For Men Auto-Stop. VHF low power stations. They really don't limit the output on their transmitter, so it kind of gets a, a blaring noise. But I've said in a few of my other videos, this is channel 6, and the sound carrier for channel 6 is at 87.75 megahertz. Well, the low end of the FM dial is 87.7 megahertz, so by FCC law, if you're going to transmit a audio signal that falls on the television sound carrier, you have to transmit video to accompany it. So that's why we have this televised image still. It's never been changed, and nobody's really talked about changing it either. Everything else is pretty much blank. There's really nothing else left. And this here is my UHF transmitter that I'm transmitting on from my digital converter box. 
So that's how I'm able to pick up all the signals here right off the antenna. So it's like the best way I can still pretend there's an NTSC signal, so to speak. And like all Zenith Chroma colors, this one has a really sharp picture. You can adjust the auxiliary controls for brightness. A little extra color. Now another thing I do with all my videos, or that I try to at least, it's nice to see what the inside of these TVs look like. So we can all have a better understanding and appreciation for just how good these TVs were. So we're going to open it up and you can take a look at the inside. I just wanted to come by and see how you were feeling before I went to sleep. Did I make it? You're sweet to take such good care of me, Hawkeye. Okay. I just wanted to... Now we'll look on the inside. And here's the chassis. You can see how well built this TV is. All the components so carefully engineered to fit within this small cabinet. There's the motor drive. We could see the manufacturer, Molin Motor and Coil Corporation. They're based in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. And if I'm not mistaken, they're still in business today. And that plant is still in operation. These are all of the individual Dura modules. You can see this one was built in Springfield, Missouri. Zenith also had a plant in Reynosa, Mexico, where they were building the Chroma Color 2s. So it's pretty much hit and miss. This is one of the last American made ones. There's a few parts made in Mexico, like this right here. That's the remote control chassis. But I will admit, the quality of the parts made in Mexico are just as good as the parts made in Missouri and Chicago because they use Zenith components. Here's the module diagram for the 13 KC-10 chassis. So this here is like the final good TV from Zenith. That's debatable. Some people will say that the System 3 was an excellent set. 
but my personal preference is the chroma color 2 and earlier and this little thing here is a boat anchor it's every bit of 40 pounds so that's pretty much it you get the view of the inside and also the outside and functionality of a 1978 Zenith 13 inch chroma color portable TV